I think the best way for me to start tonight is with a, a brief reading from my book because that's the best way to set the scene. I want to tell you a story about my daughter, my beautiful failure. By all the standard markers, by all the accepted rules and regulations and assessments of secondary school, my daughter graduated from school a failure. During the two years of her higher school certificate, she truanted frequently, she failed to hand in assignments, she failed to turn up on time, she failed to meet uniform requirements, she failed to attend some of her exams, she exhausted the patience of teachers and pushed to the outer limits the structural sympathies of the government school system. There were programs of improvement, second chances, third chances and more. Suspension and expulsion were always just around the corner. It was difficult for her teachers, it was difficult for her parents. It was difficult for no one more than her. Every day of my daughter's high school life was a struggle. She woke up in the morning and the prospect of going to school, sometimes even the thought of going outside, was like an enormous mountain to climb. And very often, she wasn't able to scale it. There were times when she didn't make it all the way. She would sit in the park on her own, wondering why she found it all so hard while her friends trundled on in their normality. At other times, she was doubled up in a laneway crying near the school, riveted by her anxiety. When she did make it, sitting in the class for the duration of a lesson was the next mountain in the range. Anxious thoughts crowded out her bandwidth, blocking the admission of any useful information the teacher was trying to impart. She got nervous, she got fidgety, her breath would become shallow, she wanted to take flight. She couldn't deal with the pressure and the judgment. She told me once in a moment of rare vulnerability that in one class she felt so distressed at being so behind in her classwork that she spent the whole period fighting the urge to flee and to throw herself onto the train tracks. She did flee class many, many times, mercifully never to throw herself anywhere. Nothing will ever be as easy as your school years, well-meaning adults told her, but I knew for my daughter and for many others who were square pegs trying to make themselves round that this was dead wrong. So this was about two years ago that our family was at the end of a very trying few years to get our daughter through school. And while the stress of getting her there and keeping her there threatened her mental health and ours on a daily basis, she was determined to finish whatever her outcomes. Dropping out, she said, would make her feel even more like a loser. So we got her there. And long before the HSC exams began, we had all let go of any hope, of any sort of useful outcome, that is a pass mark or a university entrance score. And she just had to turn up and she mostly managed. And so strangely, the few weeks of the HSC were actually the most relaxing few weeks of her whole school experience. We didn't care about her results, she didn't care about her results. The end was in sight. And on the final day of her exam, the last day she would ever have to feel like a failure at school, she walked out euphoric and she sent me a text. It's over with many, many exclamation marks. And I felt this overwhelming urge to write a story that came from my heart, a true cri de coeur. Thank you.